Hi, Mike. Well, he's uh, he's tethered just to make sure that he will. I think he will, but that's why he's got a tether on.
place. Glenn is the opposite of my other two. Yeah. Glenn is super friendly, super nice, and he listens pretty well. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. I know. That's a tough one. Glenn wants to stay. <laughs> What's going on? All the other dogs get to go. <laughs> Not with a basset hound. Yeah. Yep. He plays at the park, and uh, every day for about two, well, one hour, but every day we. And the people, the people, are you videotaping? Yeah. The people and dogs. I mean, he's got 20 friends. He oh, knows I'll them bet. all by name. He knows yeah. every person. He walks in, and everyone's like, <laughs> he's he is not a cutie. like a basset personality. He, he is, is a cutie. He is the center of attention everywhere he goes, and he knows it. Excellent. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Get the that's, drool that's, all that's over me. Nice. Right? <laughs> so he got neutered April 1st, and we're he's good looking dog. going to the lake. Yeah. Well, he's about 19 to 20 months. Yeah. The vet told us he was a little bit older. Uh huh. But he really, I think, is that age because I've had two or three bassets and have seen him develop. But even though he's full grown, I mean, he's just so lean because he and he runs just as fast. Does he? As any dog. Yeah. He's not slow. He yeah. keeps up with all of those 50 pound mid sized dogs, like your general, like like an Irish setter. Right. Or he'll run right. with them. Nice. And um, so he's super lean and. His vocabulary is at least 50 words by now, 100 words, and it's like, you know, it's any of those dogs that you've ever had that would just kind of stand out a little yeah, bit from the yeah, others. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like with my 15 dogs that I've had, he's in the top three or four. Yeah, he seems like a great dog. And then I feel bad because I love mine just as much. Of course. <laughs> but yeah. It's kind of a different situation. Yeah, absolutely. All right, buddy. Well, have a safe trip. Do. Have a great weekend. I will. I'm I mean, gonna. I wish you got away more than you did. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just know what it's, what it's like.
life in the service industry like you are. Yeah. That's all right. It's better than any other job I could have. You like what you do. That's the oh, yeah. Yep. I never have a morning where I get up and say, oh, God, i got to go to work today. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I feel the same way um, in this financial stuff. Where you know, I have been working 18 months and haven't had any of my 12, 13, 14 leads do anything. Really? And then, um, you know, I put work into my tennis and I have my tournaments and stuff. Yeah. And then I'm talking to a guy about his daughter on the court for 30 minutes, just BS, and then the last five minutes before they leave, we're just talking, and I say, I do this and this. And then his friend, he's yeah. an ener green energy guy, um, wanted to talk to us. And whatever we talked about the first couple of times is big enough that my cousin and I and his friend, uh, who's now our partner, know what we can do and what our opportunities can be. And then the partners who we have working with us don't really care and don't do anything. Cool. So we're cutting well, them all out. So yeah. this one lead, which was just another deal, yeah. 